It is pretty damn nostalgic though, coming back to a game that you you played so much that you've not played for a very long time. I was hoping he was going to keep his shield up then. I was going to go for one of those ghost hits, but then I remembered you can't do it when you're locked on because you have to pivot. Ah, interesting. Motherfucker, interrupted me. Poison sucks, but we should have moss because we were in the land of poison not so early. Not so long ago, sorry. Oh, we got a humanity. <clears throat> I think that's one of the worst rooms in the game. Because the fact that those rats can so easily stun you and poison you, and there's no way to heal poison this early unless you've gone where I went. Or unless you have some kind of spell, which I don't really know too much about. That. Hello. Ooh, that was slow. Yeah, my power timings are pretty lazy, it would seem. <clears throat> that is an interesting aggro range on those sword guys, and he's already gone to flick that switch. They weren't, I mean, the hitbox was counting, but they weren't technically the right hits, if you're wondering what I was trying to do there. God, arches on this game suck so bad. Should have really turned the camera before I did that. Mine to felt. Not to worry, you can use the alluring skull should you choose to. Oh, there you are. Fist just does no damage on this game. No damage at all. There's no point in it. Oh, I got alive. Good for you. So the move I was trying to do there does work if you land it right, and I of course did not. Now, I don't think there's a way to jump to him. Like, you can probably get lucky and do like a stupid, weird, janky glitch jump, but... I wonder if this will work. So sometimes when you're on the edge and you do the two-handers... No, it didn't work. Ow. I did not realise he could just walk through that as if he wasn't there. Awesome. Because I think we have collision on that item and he apparently doesn't, which seems a little bit cheesy, but it is Dark Souls. We expect nothing less. <laughs> Oh, peculiar doll. When we first picked you up, we expected so many great things, and what we got was not great. It wasn't even remotely close. Hopefully this time, though, I can actually do my little jump attack. If I don't get bummed by rats again. Still not getting it. Yeah, look at that fucking bullshit, they pushed you so far. Worst enemies. They're so mean. Like, why am I flinching, man? Fucking 
40 poison, a rat can push me. And if you didn't know why, uh, it's because on this game, for some strange reason, the, the enemies have almost unlimited poise break. If they want to make you flinch, they make you flinch, regardless of that stat. And that's one of the things I would always have liked them to have gone back and changed. As I gradually poison to death here. Which is not ideal, but it's not the end of the world. Should really watch my life, shouldn't I? When you think about it, there's a chance that could have hit him because he was on a, a weird angle from me. The detection on this game is is kind of weird in that regards when they're on different surfaces. Fucking hell, I'm dead. Wow. That's about as close as it gets. Second only to irritating fucking poison. <laughs> Too shit. What is it doing? That's not fair, dude. You're supposed to run for it like a dumb asshole. What if the bleed ones even do out to it, do they? Nah, I didn't think they would. But you see how destructive poison is? So the joy of that move is the detection on it is janky as hell. It looks obviously a lot more impressive when you do the jump, but you don't have to. I'm still being poisoned. Can we kill Mr. Trap before he runs? Yes, we can. Oh, we're not poisoned anymore, which is nice. It'd be nice if those animations hurt, like ambient. Oh, why do I bother? These guys always drop shit. It's never fucking good, ever. But I pick it up because I'm, I just do. I don't even know why. I pick it up because I just do. There's a sentence for you. So I'm going to use humanity here because I always like to have my humanity high. But back when I used to play this game, I didn't die all that often. So I could always run around with my humanity high without risk of losing it, but it's been a long time and I'm recording, which is two things that definitely atrophy abilities in Dark Souls, but this is just a playthrough, so we don't really have to play as if we own it. So we can have fun with this dude, hopefully. Wow, this guy's fast. Can we go defensive? No. Got a, he's got no life, considering. Ah, there it was. So I'm not picking that up because I don't want it. I just wanted to fight him. He gives you no souls, considering he can kill you very easily. 200 souls? Rip off. Okay. Another thing I hope that Bloodborne doesn't have is that invisible edge that every enemy in this game seems to have for no other reason than your dog were fat for no fucking good reason. Is somebody moving? I thought I could hear you. So our humanity is high but we're not getting all that lucky on the drops which 
you know, it does happen that way. The first one's the one that has the most impact, I believe. But once again, it's been a while since I knew a lot about this game. Shit. Wow, that was lucky. You can't actually parry that. It's just weird because it's technically. Oh, I got a humanity off him. It's technically. Oh, that was okay. A guard break, I think. Basement key. How's it going, fellas? Wow. Guy on the left hurt me, but guy in front didn't. Did he just turn towards me? Of course he did. That's what they always do. No? Hello. Yeah, because that's right, isn't it? Massive iron door. He just sticks a fucking rapier through it. Wow. That guy's a pro. I wish I had your ability to pierce those objects, and I probably do in certain attacks. Yeah, see what I mean? Good luck missing that parry. So you should always backstab these. Unless your parry timings are, are much more refined than mine are, because they'll just do uh, massive amounts of damage. Uh, did I pick up the... the resin? I didn't. Fuck. That would have made the next encounter considerably easier. I always forget about that, dude. Ooh. He looks mighty impressive. It's a shame there wasn't more of him. The, uh, is it the Knight of Berenique or something? A lot of people seem to call him that. Ow. So if you're wondering how that worked just then, because we're on stairs and because of the distance I was at, he wasn't able to parry me automatically. Sometimes he can. It's one of those kind of rare things. Uh, did he just buff everybody? try and do. Yeah, that was what I wanted. But it does occupy them. So what I was trying to do there is what I did in my um, no damage level 1 run. If you throw it out the window and it hits that opposite wall, they'll all run to the opposite side of the channel. Over. And you can just run through that room perfectly. But the throw is something that my timing is, is not so great on at the moment. And of course I messed it up. But if you land it through the window and it hits over there, they'll all go to the left and you can run through here completely unchallenged. As it stands, you need to know the rhythm to get through that. Which is dodge the first two, block the third one, and then in the time it took you to turn and block, you can then run past the two who normally block your progress. Uh, you'll see a lot of speedrunners do it that way. Uh, that dude's still trying to attack me. There's a chance I could die here without the buff. Because I can't DPS the gargoyles fast enough. But I should be okay. Oh, maybe not. That went uh, swimmingly. Wow, he never physical attacks. That is incredibly rare. Oh, I didn't think I'd get the stun break. So that went okay, all considered. But Gargoyles is a fight that once you understand the basic philosophy of damage racing them, you're okay. He can still go really bad though, I will die on that fight many times, just because, and I'm sure anybody will tell you, like, they can have the best Ornstein and Small fights, the most amazing Four Kings fight, whichever boss insert name of, yet the Gargoyles and 
Like, even Taurus Demon can still get you. And it doesn't mean that you're a terrible player. It just means it's Dark Souls. That's how it works. But those guys have considerably low life when you consider those trees in the dark wood grain ring forest place. What's it called now? Dark root forest? Uh, they're probably packing more stamina, uh, more HP than. Can I drop? Oh, I can. It's that weird thing of Dark Souls does this a little differently. I prefer Dark Souls way. You see the speedrunners kill this guy all the time. Because he gives you a lot of souls. But we're not going to kill him. I normally do. I just have no interest in doing it at the moment. I just want to level up our in endurance because I hate looking like this. So it's time to play with the channeler. Myth the channeler. Wow. Guys, uh... Just chilling. So I'm kind of scared of this guy. Because he hurts. But. So do we. And when I mean hurt, it's when he does that crazy spinning, rotatey lance move. And it hits you multiple times. He can do some pretty sick damage. A little bit like these guys. Trading with these dudes is not recommended at all. You see what I mean? Like, fucking Dark Souls is unfair sometimes. It's not quite Demon Souls, but it's it's pretty rich. <clears throat> pretty rich indeed. Because it's just silly things like, when I was in that other room and I R2'd and I hit a wall and it did nothing, my attack landed, it went through geometry, the game had no issue with it then. But in a time where I really needed it not to do that, it just bounces me off and the dude gets like a perfect horizontal, I say horizontal, it was directional, was it like vertical fucking spike. Oh, he's already gone. Oh, fair dues. Let's go back to filing then. There's the humanity. One away from the cap, which I wish didn't exist. Because in that first, you know, in the game before they patched it, humanity continued to scale the way it does from 1 to 10, all the way up to 99, which made it incredibly powerful. And I think that's perfectly fine, because if you can keep 99 humanity while playing the game, you deserve it. Because it's not easy. And even when you PvP and if you forget to pick up your souls, it's so easy to get it, get it taken from you if you die. I should really go on back to the asylum. I should probably do that now. Use these souls and then go check in on the boys. But I want Lautrec dead because I don't want him messing with my firekeeper if I can afford it. I do love this music. This music reminds me of being bad at Dark Souls and just how ominous it can be. So we do the soft reset so we can get it back. We can't skip any of this intro stuff because we're not on PC, which is a big shame. Like, the loading on this game is kind of brutal. I wish that if they were going to do a remake, I, I've mentioned before I would prefer it to be this game. Because I think there's so many things they could improve on this. Well, I don't even know I had characters on this one. Who knew? Anybody wondering the controller I'm using? It's the Battlefield 4 official controller. It's kind of smaller than your average controller, but the buttons feel nice. 
So that is what we wanted, five humanity and a ring of fappy, fappy protection. So we can take off that and we can pop on that. And although we're going to be missing out on our poise, we're going to get some of that back with the stuff we put on. And it'll give us an excuse to, to toggle a little bit more so I can get a, a little more used to doing that. So there's a little bit more endurance. Can we wear trousers? We can wear trousers. Can we wear a top of some kind? So the lightest top is the one we started in now. I've never liked this top because it's too bulky. It should be figure hugging. So 2.7 is too much. But at least we can put our ass away for a little bit. Because it was pretty disgusting. So let's go and kill Stray Demon if we can. And kill the Black Knights if we can. And kill that dude who's now alive and get the Rusted Iron Ring. Which I haven't got in forever because I just kind of run through the bottom of Blight Town. Well, well, since I've done this as well. I used to have problems doing this with Dark and Green Ring. I don't know why. It's just weird. Doesn't make any sense how you can miss the jump. But you do. You just do. Anybody who's put enough time into this game knows, regardless, you will miss that jump from time to time, doing absolutely nothing different than you normally do, and sometimes you just never get it. It's very strange. But we curl up into a ball, and I'll probably see you in the next episode.